Hello. Hi. Welcome to Jeanette Lane Crafts Live, midweek edition. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Hope you are doing good. We have some people who have been waiting. I think Nancy was the first one here. Hello, Nancy. <laughs> and then Amy was, um, I think, second. <laughs> so it's just great that you guys are all here. Thank you so much. It means so much to me that you guys take time out of your day to come hang out with me and do a little crafting. Um, let's say hello. I think Kate Fletcher is on time today. <laughs> Kate, you're here. Tammy, hello. Kim is here. She says, hi, everyone. Nancy says, hi, everyone. I'm so excited to chat. Um, I need this today so much. <laughs> uh, she's also wondering how Amy's birthday was. Kate says she's been chilling over in the lounge, but thought she would mosey on over to see who was here. Hi, Lorraine. Tracy is here. Wendy's here. Wendy sent me the cutest picture of Gigi. No, sorry, Gigi. Gidget. <laughs> Gigi is my niece. <laughs> um, by the fire. It was so cute. I have like a little fireplace. Adorable. Sarah Louise. Hello. Kathy, hi. Um, Becky's here. Hi, Becky. And hello, Lynn. Uh, today, before we continue, it today is Catherine uh, Crucifon's birthday. So happy, happy birthday, Catherine. I think she's supposed to make it. <clears throat> so we can all wish Catherine a happy birthday. All right, tell me what you've been up to. What have you been crafting this week? I have been, um, I think, busy with like work stuff. But, um, so I don't know, I just haven't done much crafting this week other than working on my happy binder, which I showed you guys um, how I started this from start to this point, start to finish. Uh, and I'm not done with it yet, it's still a work in progress, but I've added so many more things to it um, just because it's so easy to build this up to get this really chunky in a short amount of time. So I wanted to show you the changes, I'm sorry, the additions that I've made and also um, keep working on it because I have a few more things that I found that I thought would be good to add. So this is just a little mini three ring binder that I bought. I think I bought this in the States in tar at Target. Or I might have purchased it here at a planner meetup because like I think someone was selling Target dollar spot things at this planner meetup and I was so excited. So I might have purchased that. Anyway, it, for sure it's a, like a Target thing. <laughs> but um, and I'll, all you do is just make a little master template with your little hole punches here on the side. And then you just start punching in random little bits. These could be keepsakes, fabric scraps, tags all sorts of things and in the end you just store this it's just a different sort of junk journal and of course the things in here aren't junk they are treasures some include uh, handmade cards from friends and family um, just different things that I had in my stash and they were just kind of in a bag <laughs> and it's a good way to organize those extra little bits that you don't want to throw away that are special but you can't necessarily put them in like a photo album because maybe like they're shaped weird. <laughs> I don't know, but it's just a good way to store like an alternative way of storing your keepsakes. And of course you can pull these, save these on your um, bookshelf and pull them out at different times of the year and just look back. It's just kind of like a, a little um, way to document your memories also, if you would like. Uh, it's great if you want to build a Christmas one because you can use your gift wrap, your uh, Christmas cards that you've received that year, and build these up and then you can look back on them, store them with your uh, Christmas decorations like I do, and then pull them out every year. <clears throat> Let's see what I've missed. Catherine's here. Hi, Catherine. We're all wishing you a happy birthday. 
Lynn says, I actually had a panic at 4.45 thinking it was I was late. Caught up in my album making. Nice. <laughs> Amy says, yay, another May baby. Christine is here. Hi, Christine. Hi, Louise. You made it. <laughs> Hello. Let's see. Sorry. Happy birthday to Catherine. Lots of happy birthdays. You guys are so sweet. Um... Like a memory book, da, 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 da. Tracy Martindale says it's looking fuller, Jeanette. Looking good. <laughs> Thanks, Tracy. Um, I'm gonna, I think Amy says I think all I've crafted is a collage journaling card. Um, Kate, did you win something? What did you win? Oh, she won a competition on a U on YouTube, a YouTube giveaway. Nice. Well done, you. <laughs> All right. So let me flip through the things. The book, The Happy Binder. I like to call it my happy binder because just junk journal just doesn't sound nice. <laughs> All right. So we've got, um, I think you guys all saw this. You saw the doily that I just put in it there. We've got some... Um, I just did some random, like, not journaling, but I guess a little bit of journaling. Um, I did some more journaling on here somewhere. Yeah, just a little bit of journaling here for May 10th. Nothing major. I used that sparkly thing I found in my washi, in my washi storage. That, like, sparkly sequined ribbon. Super cute. Um, what else? I think... I don't know if that was the same before, but I added some of these floral uh, die cuts just throughout. Added a random little like banner, bunting banner, paper bouquet over here. Just stapled that to the front and it looks kind of fun on the back. Um, what else? Just random little doilies. Uh, I don't know if I added this. This is just a folded up doily and I couldn't really use it in another project because it got bent out of shape here. So I thought, mm, I don't want to throw it away. It's so pretty. I can use it in my binder. Hey, you guys are. Here's my roll call thing. <laughs> um, who's missing? Got Loray here. Lynn is here. Amy's here. Louise is here. Laura is not here. Tracy's here. Hello, Crafting with Gabby. How are you? So happy you joined us. <clears throat> Sarah Louise has made her uh, has made a pocket letter. Hopefully, you shared that in the lounge. All right, Gabby is doing very well. Nice, nice. Cammy, is this Cammy or my sister Chell? Um. Okay, and then I added just a journaling card here. I think I, I think I added this. I don't think you guys saw this. I just added uh, just some random, just like a random doily and some little like leafy greenery here for my favorite. One of my favorite dies. Um. Yeah, I can't remember like what was different. Oh, I tried my, um, Justin got me this, uh, what are these called? I can't remember, wax seals, wax seals? Does that sound right? So I tested it out for the first time and it worked in, um, for some reason it was like dropping little like fire bits <laughs> when I was doing it, like fire was landing on my page and I was panicking because I thought like my book was gonna go up in flames it did not but it was just weird because I don't know if I was doing it wrong or I don't know but fire fell on this page and I was really scared <laughs> anyway uh, just put some random little teas tea stringy thingies that I've been enjoying this past week um, added this just like a piece of ribbon I'll probably do that right now add some more to it show you how that works here's a card from Catherine 
Thanks, Catherine. Oh, you sent that to me for my birthday. Thank you. <laughs> um, what else, what else, what else? What else is new? Covered up my address so we don't have the problem with the address anymore. I added some, I just stapled in some random receipts uh, from purchases that we've made recently because I thought it would be interesting to look back on what we were buying um, during the lockdown, which uh, cheese bread, yes. Doritos, yes. <laughs> so, lots of that going on here. Um, cheese, tomatoes, avocados. Yep. So, I just thought it'd be interesting to save that <laughs> for posterity. Um, I added this Hachanda envelope because I took it from uh, Hachanda. When I was on Hachanda, they were like the receptionist was trying to help me book a taxi to the train station and she handed me this envelope, so I saved it. <laughs> um, added some more doilies. I think I added that postcard. I think Maria Husk sent that to me or maybe it was Tracy Martindale. I can't remember. I'm sorry. I should really write on the back of like what sends me, who sends me what. I should really do that. And of course the coffee cup always a coffee cup um I might have added this thing which is just made out of some stripey paper bags I have a million of these bags and I'm trying to get rid of them uh I added probably this is probably new just a little tool so yeah there's um lots more you can add all sorts on here and of course I use my trusty dusty Tim Holtz tiny attacher and I included a link in the video description. Uh, I found one on Amazon with the staples. It's going for, I want to say 10 something, 1076, which I thought was a pretty good deal. And there's like free shipping if you spend over $25, I believe. But excellent little tool. I love it. I love the little itty bitty staplers. So that's definitely something that I use a lot, especially when doing any kind of junk journaling. So now to um, send out, so now not to send out, <laughs> I was reading Amy's uh, comment. Now to start adding more things to my <clears throat> happy binder. I know it looks really full, but there's still so much that you can add to it. Scrappy Happy, Scrappy Happy is here. Hello, good morning. Finally able to make a live. This looks great. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> uh, Amy says, tiny attacher is your fave. Amy says, oh, whenever you send out Happy Meal, you should include one of those striped bags. Like, oh my gosh, I do. <laughs> I definitely do. Like, you don't even know. <laughs> I have, like, so, so many. And I think I did a few workshops. Um, and so there was, I don't know, there was a, quite a few people at, like, one of these workshops that I did. And I still <laughs> have, like, so many bags. And that was years ago. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, Cam. Oh, it's my sister. Where's Cammy? I miss Cammy. I'm glad you're here, Chell. But I do miss Cam Cams. She's probably doing her work. Uh, I just got a work email. <laughs> it sent me a preview of it, and I'm like, oh, I should probably do that. But I'm not going to take. All right, sorry guys. Okay, so I found some more things that I wanted to add. So there they are. We've got uh, some tickets from a football game that Justin and I went to. So I'll just find a home for these somewhere here. Just needs like an empty little spot. Um. Hmm. Or I could also hole, hole punch them in there, this way, or that way. Should I hole punch them? Yeah, maybe I will. I'll hole punch them. So when you get, when they get, uh, when your binder gets really chunky, you probably want to put like a weight down here <laughs> so that things don't start un unbinding. <laughs> Is that the right word? And then we use our little master template on top. Master punchy template thingy. 
little bopper and didn't know what to call it. And then we will hole punch it. This is seriously the easiest kind of junk journal, guys. Because there's no crazy binding. Um, if you have things like keepsakes, tickets, movie tickets, receipts, things of like different sizes, it just starts to look interesting because everything is different sizes, if that makes sense. Here's some pictures from a photo booth um, when we went to the States last year. Wow. This is over a year ago. I remember this like it was just yesterday. This is me with Lovey and, <laughs> and my nieces. <laughs> oh, hilarious. So I thought I would put those in there. I didn't want to hole punch these though. So maybe I can just slide them in there. One of those envelopes. Is there another envelope I can use? Hmm. No. If I have, I'm trying to find an envelope. Let's see what we got. I have this envelope. Is that too big? It's just like a plain white envelope. But that might do the trick. Yeah, I think I'll use that. And then I can put my, um, what do you call it? Hey, pictures in there. Not in the hutch hand envelope. Oh, it's too big for my trimmer. For my guillotine. Hold on. Let me get my other paper trimmer. I just want to trim off this top part. All right. And then, I mean, if I wasn't lazy, I would get out my die cutting machine and then do a circle here. Like do a semi-circle. I'm so lazy. I'm feeling lazy though, guys. <laughs> so let me just hold punch. Instead, where did those pictures go? I put them in the Hachanda. Hachanda. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So then we'll hole punch this guy. And it's white and pristine, a white pristine envelope, but that's okay because we can always stamp this up, stamp it up. Um, trying to see where I can put this, put it here. That'll go there. Lost my photos again. Where did they go? Where did they go, guys? Tell me in the comments where they went. Hmm. Okay, underneath. They're not in the Hachanda envelope anymore. Where did I put them? Where did they go? losing my mind. Oh, they're there. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. So those can go in there. Just a nice little like, hey, we're in here. Ooh, I wonder if I can back these with some... I don't know if I'm too big. With some paper. And then I can have them put like one of these little pull-out elements. Pull-out elements. Let's see if I have any scrappy cardstock on hand. One second. Second. I do have some fun cardstock. Paper. Yep. Let me trim some paper off screen in my lap. 
You'll see it in just a bit. Bear with, bear with. <clears throat> so here's just some paper. There and there. There's nothing on the back. Okay. So I'm just going to put back these um, little cards, little postcards, little, uh, what do you call them? Picture, photo booth pictures. Put that there, just like that. And the other one. And then I'm just using a glue stick. Can put these in here, slide them in there, and then I can use the leftover strips like so. Fold them onto themselves. like that and that can go in there and this one this paper is gorgeous put a little bit of adhesive on the whole thing <laughs> this is quick style guys all right ooh I should have put it at different slide this over. Should be okay. So that will go like that. So then we have these two in here. And then you can just pull those out like so. You can add a little something here too. Maybe like a sentiment of some sort some sort of die cut or ephemera to tell us that's like kind of indicate what's in there. Um, maybe some of these. These are my favorite. Um, we'll do, you can never have too much happy. So these are the Tim Holtz phrase stickers. Small talk. 296 stickers. These are, um, you can find these on Amazon. They're a really good deal because you get a lot. Okay, so I'm going to go with I'm happiest when I'm with you. Oh, geez, dropping these all over the place. And you can never have too much happy. I'm going to trim these down because they're too big for this little area that I want to put them on. So it'll be, you can never have too much. I might have to reinforce those with glue, but it should be okay. Give them some CPR. <laughs> and then we can slide those back into our envelope. And look how fun that is. That was so easy, guys. Something you can do. Just use an envelope of some sort. Trim off the edge or leave it on. And then just back your little photos with some paper. Put a little pull out element, easy breezy. Yes, Maria said that eBay and Amazon have them. Yes, they do have those. Hello, Helen. 
how are you? Helen says, sorry, I've been MIA, a lot of work going on. Oh, I figured you were super busy. Maria. Sorry, Maria, I didn't say hi to you. <laughs> so glad you are here, Maria. Who else have I missed? I'm so sorry if I missed anybody saying hello to anyone. Yeah, so the um, Tim Holtz stickers, they're not that expensive. I think the, I, it's not over like a tenner. And I think they're really good value because they have so many stickers on them. And then you can also, there's some phrases, there's different ones, phrases, uh, some are just words so you can build your own words. But it's definitely something that is a staple in my stash. I felt like there was more, more things for me to add. Where'd they go? Ah, found it. So I have this, um, it's, it's a photo album. It's, I probably got this at the Dollar Tree in the States. Dollar Tree? Is that what it's called? Yes, <laughs> 99 cent store Dollar Tree. And so I um, used to organize my um, Planner Society goodies in here when I would get them when I was on the design team. So, um, just lots of little odds and ends for planners, but also just, and I just like to add these throughout. I had some little like page tabs, Div like they're meant for dividers, like divider tabs, and I can't find them now. Well, there's one there. I'll grab that. Take note. Um, but if you have any of these tabby tabs, like these ones that go on the side, or if you have a die, oh, there they are, jackpot. <laughs> Look at all these. Eee. So these would be good to add to these pages just for a little bit, um, just for more interest, more fun stuff to look at. So I'll start from the beginning, see where I can, <laughs> this already has so much, but there's always places you can add these. So maybe, I like the nice bright yellow there. That'll do. So we'll just glue that, glue some of these down throughout. Just to add a little more Pizzazz? Is that a good word? Pizzazz? 